Hey y'all, as always, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY. Let me fix my camera, excuse me. And I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new ones. And I just want to let y'all know, of course, I absolutely appreciate when y'all watch my show, my channels or like my videos or subscribe. So today we're going to do something I thought was just, would be really interesting and pretty and it's just going to be some little wall decor for spring so let me go ahead and just get to it and show you what you need which if you follow me on social media which the links are down below you can see a list of these items and you can also get that list on my community tab which the community tab has the colors I'm using and maybe everything but Twitter I can't remember if the other social media has too so let's get started I'm going to be using these wooden plaques, which you do not have to use these certain ones. You can find whatever design you like as long as it fits these pieces, which you're also going to get. I got more than these, but these are the three I really, really liked for this project. So, Also, we're going to be painting. So I'm going to be using pool from Waverly absolutely love this color it, it, to me it is like a summer sky a beautiful summer sky and then I'm going to be using princess purple and black from Apple Barrel and then from folk art I'm going to be using lemon custard which it says multi tea surface I don't know if it comes in any other version of folk art but that one and then with the color shift from folk art, I'm going to be using pastel purple and black finish. And then from the Dragonfly Glaze collection of folk art, I'm going to be using its gold, red, and violet shift. So let's get to it. All right. Now, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting these plaques the pool color. And of course, I will tell y'all every single time I do this, you can use whatever colors you want to use. If you don't want to use the exact same colors I'm using, it's not a big deal. These are just the colors I liked for this project. So, I am literally just going to paint it blue. See how pretty this color is? I absolutely love this color. So. Apparently, I didn't get it mixed up good, but that's fine. Let me mix it up again. I don't want any problems. Alright. So, we're just going to take, like I said, and paint. And you're going to paint the whole plaque this color. I normally do the back, but I'm not going to do it this time because it's not working with me and I can't get the stickers off. So I'm just going to paint the front my blue color. So if you can get the stickers off and you want this, you know, the price tag, uh, not price tag, <laughs> the barcode off you know the back and you want to paint the whole thing be my guest I'm just tired of fighting it today like I will do the sides too but I'm gonna let this dry and see if I need to do another coat which I probably will so I'll paint all three of them the same color because this is the part that helps tie it together I mean the way I'm gonna paint the stuff helps tie it together too but this is the part that really helps tie these three together if you want to do them or even if you want to do one you could do that but to me that's what it feels like anyways I'm sorry y'all I'm just blabbering on like an idiot <laughs> so paint them, let them dry, and then go from there. Alright, 
so. Oh, also, if y'all want to, which I meant to say before I started painting, y'all can also sand them down if y'all want to. I don't mind them looking like this, but it's totally up to y'all what y'all think. So, all right, now we just gotta let it dry and then I can finish painting it. dry we're gonna move on to the next step and that is gonna be taking these and painting them now <clears throat> I don't need this on my butterfly and I might not need it on the other one too because I feel I think of it as the Sun my mom said it was a um, um, sunflower. So I'm still debating on whether I want that as a sunflower or a sun. But I don't need it, so I'm going to take my little smiter shears I have. They're not really little. And I'm just going to cut it off. If I decide I don't need them here, I, won't, I don't think I'll be able to use the miter shears. I might be able to, but I'm still going to think about it. So for this one, you probably use scissors too. You don't have to use miter shears. This one, I am going to use it as a flower, so I'm just going to, you know, cut a piece of it off because I want it to be the stem because that is a flower is what I meant to say. So. Now we're going to move on to the next step while I, and like I said, I'm still debating on this, but what we're going to do now is we're going to paint these and I have not tried this yet, but I'm really interested in doing this. Um, I don't know what this color is going to look like. We will find out when I get to it. But I'm going to paint this part black because, you know, the body of a butterfly is black or brown or something, but it's dark. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to try to make sure... I don't get it on any of the other part because that's going to be a different color. And I'm going to do that with all of them. All the pop-ups are going to be a different color. So let me see if, comment if y'all can guess what the colors are going to be out of the colors I told you. for each part. So, I think that'll be a fun little activity. See if y'all can guess it right. So. Let's get this colored. I got these last year actually these um little wooden figures my mom bought them for me for me to um do something with and I wasn't ever sure what I wanted to do with them I just knew I liked them 
And then this popped in my head, and I just thought it would be so interesting to... And not even just to paint them, but to paint them, you know, different colors make part of it stand out more. So, that's where I got this idea. It just popped in my head. And I'm going to tell you right now, I go, with a lo I go with a lot of things that just pop into my head. I think that usually makes the best... Um, pieces that you craft something that just randomly even if you're just looking at it and you're like oh I could do this with it you know have fun with it I mean you don't have to be all perfect all the time I've messed up a lot a lot a lot so this is just a little fun cute idea I thought would look really good and a lot of times it, it, I think it's always nice to have something to make something else pop off of. I don't know how this is going to work because I haven't used some of these colors. But it just sounded like a good idea when I thought of them. So that's why I'm going with them. trying to be careful because I don't but it's not a big deal but I'm trying not to get it on the one I'm gonna paint a different color I'm trying to be careful Now, I'm not too concerned about painting the back of these because we're going to glue them on the plaque, so you're not going to see the back of it. But you'll see the sides and the bottom and the top. I mean, that's why I wanted to paint it. to make things look good when I can and when I can't I just fake it Good cover. Alright, so that's this part. I already like it. I ain't even finished and I already like it. So that is the butterfly part. The background of the butterfly, I should say. So we're gonna move on to the next piece. A 
and let's see if anybody guessed it. Give me a second. All right, y'all, and if y'all guessed the black flash for this, y'all would have been correct. I don't know how it's gonna look. I just really like this color, y'all. Look at that. It's black. I don't know if you can see it, but it's black. But it when you get when the light hits it, sorry, it's gold. I absolutely love this color. So I wanted to do that on something, and I picked my butterfly just because I thought it would be pretty. Something different but pretty at the same time. this is so cool I love these I love these color shift colors y'all I I find reasons to put them in my project okay I just think they are so amazing the colors that they achieve with this at that it's not even finishing I love that y'all I think it looks so good love it <laughs> so I'm gonna do the sides the same color I'll try to only do the sides And this will take a little time because I'm trying not to get it anywhere else. I debated doing this first. But I wanted to see if anybody could guess it. You know? I don't know if this was the best choice to do this second. But I, I wanted to see it against the black backdrop and I'm not hating it. I wanted to use this color before, but I just, I don't know, I, I, I just I just felt like what I wanted to use it for wouldn't work, so I held back and didn't do it, but I'm so happy I picked it for this butterfly. It is simply gorgeous. I'm missing. <laughs> stupid. I don't know how I could miss the side as bad as I did. Okay, I will freely admit to y'all, my hand-eye coordination sucks so bad. So bad. It's probably why I've just missed that whole side and was sitting there painting the top again. So, it's almost painted, and then we'll move on to the next one, but I want to paint under here too, even though, like I said, this part will be glued down, I just want to give this a pop of color, just in case you can see it, I don't think you can, but, you know, I like to cover my bases. Alright, look at that, is not that butterfly absolutely gorgeous? I am so happy with it, y'all. So now we're going to move on to the next thing. Alright, y'all. I'm going to move on to the second one. And I don't know if you guessed it, but the tulip, I am going to paint purple. And I'm going to use the purple, pastel purple for the middle. So I didn't know if you guessed that that was going to be that one. So 
I'm gonna try and do this one first. That's why I already told you what it was. So now, I got to thinking, and I feel kind of stupid because I knew that this was a flower and I was gonna leave the stem and I forgot to tell y'all to use green for the stem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of my flashes with it just to see if it works. And if not, I'll be sad, but I will paint over it. I want it to look good. But I'm going to use my dragon flash. It is a green. Yeah. I want to make sure it was dragon flash. So we're going to do that. I haven't used it yet, but it is one of my, I just thought it was such a pretty green color, so I definitely wanted that when I saw it. So, I'm probably going to do two layers of this pastel purple, just to make sure it's covered good and looks good. Because I don't want to give y'all something that we don't like. But I will do the second coat if I decide to do it after I do the background. Because you might not need it. It depends on how it stands out against the purple. You gotta let it dry and everything. But I just thought I'm absolutely in love with these. I am so in love with these flash colors, y'all. I'm so glad I bought them. I got more that I've seen at Walmart that are like the gold, violet, gold, red, and violet that I'm going to use that I want to get. Alright, so that is painted. Now I'm going to let that dry, but while I'm letting it dry, I'm going to paint the background purple because I think purple tulips are so cute and my mom's favorite color is purple, so that's another reason why I picked purple. This is a big reason why I picked purple, y'all. My mom loves purple. So, I'm sure... Y'all have figured out what the third middle color is also. And I don't have to tell y'all. So, let's get to it. In the world. Hold on, y'all. Alright, let's get to paint. I don't know, something happened with my purple and I had to fix it. try not to waste this paint so I'm gonna use the stuff that's on my that got wasted so it doesn't get wasted stuff that got pulled out so it doesn't get wasted I'm sorry what I was trying to say Happened. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't waste any of it.
Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Apparently, sometimes I have to concentrate really hard. this part Now what you can also do is if you can't find these but you find like a flower without a stem and stuff like that, you can take like a piece of green string and just look, look, just glue it on there for the stem. That works just as well. And it gives you a different texture than wood on wood on wood on wood or stuff like that, you know? Or even a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner would work too. They got green pipe cleaners. So there are different ways of doing this. If you don't have what I'm using. And if you like the sparkly stuff, you can always use glitter if you don't have the paint I'm using so that is different things you can try to make this work now I'm gonna let this dry before I see about going back over that and going over the stem okay for this one I'm gonna paint the yellow first because I got to get it into these little middle things and try to be careful so I'm gonna use my little paintbrush for the middle And then I'll go from there. But I still haven't decided. I think I'm just going to wait and see how it comes out looking, you know? Before I decide if I want to do this as a sun or a sunflower. You know? So, I'll use that again later. So, I'm just going to keep it. And then I'm going to paint this yellow. It's lemon custard by Folk Art. I, cause, and, it, and I used this because I wanted a bright yellow for this. Especially if it is going to represent the sun. Because the sun is bright. And a lot of people, when they draw and stuff, when they're kids and sometimes even older, they just use yellow to represent the sun. So, but I haven't 100% decided whether it's going to be the sun or sunflower. I 
which I've said about five million times, but I'll probably keep saying until I decide. trying to be careful doing this. And I actually don't mind the little streaks from the paint on this. We'll see how it comes out. That's another way to add texture to a piece is if you leave the paint like if you do this and there's a piece of paint like that you just leave it there and it, and it texturizes the project. It's a good word. Texturize, right? It gives your piece texture and dimension. So, there's some thoughts. And also, uh, when you paint, I'm going to tell you like this, okay? I did a painting of a fairy in the sky and I took my blues and I just waved it through to make it look like wind blowing in the sky and it looks really good. I'll have to show you that painting one day. Now I will tell you her hair looks like a banana because I had so much problems with the hair and it just kept working and giving me more trouble and I didn't want to ruin the picture too much. And I finally left it. I haven't had a chance to go back and see about working it some more. Because it is an oil painting. So. You can't overwork something in an oil painting. You go over it and over it and over it too many times. So. Just so y'all know that. I'm going to stop right there until I decide what I'm going to do and then I can finish painting it. I don't want to go where I might be cutting because then I might mess up the paint. You know what? I've thought about it and I am going to turn this into a flower. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut. So, yeah. And mainly because my mom kept saying it was sunflower and I just. Be like, okay, mom, this is sunflower. You 
can't tell me you've never been like that with your mom. Because <laughs> I will not believe it. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry before I do the green, and, but I'm going to go ahead and do the middle coat. I'm going to need both of these. So let me clean them off and then we'll do that. And as I'm sure you guessed it, I can get up and the gold, red, and violet. It's going to be the middle part of, oh, I've never seen that before. The sunflower. Hold on a second, y'all. All right, y'all, so this is something different. So I'm going to have, I have to cut, paint it over a coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do the yellow on that too and go from there and see how it works. So let's see. I've never used it. I did not know this. So I'm going to paint the yellow over the spiral too. I'm going to be feeling better about getting it everywhere. So Try to be careful, but I just kind of wanted to make sure I got it in here in these spirals because they're hard to paint. All right, now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my smaller paintbrush to paint the outside. I don't want to mess up what I did already if I can mess it up We're gonna see how this dragonfly glaze comes out looking, y'all. I've never used it before. So I here's to hope it comes out looking good. I like what colors it looks like it'll be, but I don't know. So first, I gotta let that dry, and then I can do the glaze. So, I'm pretty sure my tulip is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the base, and go from there. I'm enjoying this. This came out way more interesting than I thought it would. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So. Yeah, that's dry. I hope I like this on here. I'm telling you now, I think I am going to like it on there. It just gives it a little pop of shine color. I don't think it takes too much from the flower. But I think it works. There you go. Alright, um, we're going to let that completely dry and then we'll move on to the next steps. Alright y'all, so it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and try this glaze out and see how it works. Never done it before might be disappointed but I'm really hoping I'm not so 
And while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I broke down and I couldn't resist. I painted the back of my plaques. It's just something I do. You don't have to. So, we will see how this comes out when it dries. I'm hoping I am not disappointing this. If it doesn't work out, I will just paint over it with some other color. Because I was not expecting this. I was expecting it to be a color, not a white thing that turns to a color. I guess you could say. You know what, I might like this. We'll know for sure once it dries. But I will tell you this, I am seeing color already, and I know it's not dry. So, I might like it. I might have to use it on something else though. This might not work. You know, it might need to be a bigger surface to get it. Like I said, I am seeing some color. You see how devastated I am when it dries. <laughs> and I'm going to use the word devastated. But I'm also going to go ahead and paint the stem. I hope, hope, hope that works out, y'all. Because I think it's going to be really cool if it does. Alright, so. Move on to the last step of painting. And then we got to let everything dry. So, here we go. Touch it up, I got some green on my yellow. Alright, I'm gonna let that dry. And once everything's dry, we'll move on to the next. Alright. Alright, y'all, that's not so bad. It does do it. I'm probably going to do another coat just to make sure that it is completely 100% um, 
you know the color that I want it to be I guess you could say so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now I just want to make sure exactly what I want it but it's fine it's got its moments it's cute though next time I think I will do a different color just so that it's you know underneath so that it's not the same color as the thing I did but I was just checking it out and making sure that that's why it came out being this color because I didn't really have another color on me at the time that I had picked out. You never know, I might turn around and paint it a different color, like orange or something, and put this over it, but for now, so I can show you what it looks like, we're just going to leave it like it is. done we can move on to the next step and I can see, even when I finish I can still change it if need be all right <coughs> excuse me give me a second so you don't have so you don't have to hang these you can just put them on a display thing but I'm gonna hang them so I'm gonna use some of these let me see let me make sure it's where you can see it some of this little rope I had from another thing and I'm just gonna you know cut it and I'm gonna cut the same length so now that one's cut I'm just gonna go with it and come here and cut and do the same for the last so it's close to the same length. It may not be exactly the same length, but it'll work. All right. So I'm sorry, y'all. Now that that is part is done, we are going to be gluing it all together. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to glue this to the back. And I'm going to make sure it goes all the way up. I just wanted to get it glued on each side before I get it all the way up, y'all. That makes any sense to y'all. glue on it. That's why it popped up. So, okay. so that is glued. Make sure it all dries. And then I'll flip it over for the next part. I'm gonna do that for all three of them. Just give me a second. Make sure that doesn't come unravel or new problems. Sorry, 
and it's sticking to my fingers. There we go. Alright. Sorry. My glue does what it wants to do, not what I want it to do. If you haven't noticed. Alright. Set. Stick it together so we don't want that to come apart. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing I just did and go all the way to the top because we don't want it to have any problems. Now, of course, you can use whatever glue you want. I tend to use hot glue, it seems to work for me best as long as I'm not putting it outside in the heat in the summer because. It gets hot down here, y'all, and the humidity is crazy, and hot glue does not stay hot glue. It doesn't stay glued hot glue down here, so. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Of course, I'll clean it all up once it's dry. So, I did not mean to do that, so I'm going to cut this. I don't feel like redoing that. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? One side can be slightly longer than the other, but I don't want it to be too long, too much longer. I can't talk, y'all. Just ignore my craziness. Of course, again at the top. And there. Alright, so like I said, I'll clean all this off once it's dry. I don't want it to look a mess. I just wanted to get the little frayed pieces down so they don't come apart. Alright, now that those are glued and dried, and I don't know why I flipped this back over, that was stupid. We're going to go ahead and glue our little pieces to it, like this. So you're going to want to make sure you got glue on it. And just press it down. And then the last one. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I just did not like the color choice. So I painted over my little circle with Spiced Carrot by Apple Barrel. You can use whatever color you want, but I wanted it to pop more and it's not. So once this dries, I will go back over it with the glaze and see how that works. But I just, I was not happy with this just over the lemon custard yellow. It just did not give the effect I wanted it to give. And I told you if I wasn't happy with it, I was gonna go back over it so that's what I'm doing now and it should be dry soon and then we can work on it but like I said y'all can pick whatever colors y'all want I just think these are these look really good these color combinations and it, it they play off each other so Sorry. Just want to 
make sure it's dry before I go on. All right, y'all, let's see how this works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start glazing it and hopefully it works better this time because like I said, I just wasn't liking it. It just, to me, it just wasn't the right color. It was just too yellow. You put more on here too. Maybe if I put more on there, it'll glaze better. I don't know if that's the word I want to look for and use. Of course, we'll definitely see what it looks like once it is dry with this color on. Because I was just not happy with the yellow. Just not happy. So I'm hoping I like this better. Alright, we'll see it when it's dry and go from there. Alright y'all, it is dry and is done and look how much better that looks with the orange base coat. I absolutely love it. I'm happy with how all three of these came out and I hope you enjoyed this video because I had so much fun doing it and I can't wait to do another and if you liked it, please like, share, subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow and I will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>